Survivor Ghost Island Episode 7 airs Wednesday, April 4th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. One thing became clear in Episode 6 of Survivor Ghost Island, and that is that this is neither a game of skill or luck for the contestants. It is merely a game of circumstance, as the producers try to throw in every twist, turn, surprise, and injustice that they can to get the audience talking. And more often than not, on social media, the ultimate free promotion for the show. While it keeps the suspense up for some portion of the audience, another portion may feel betrayed by the exodus of quality contestants. In Episode 5, Stephanie, who is one of the early favorites to win at odds of just 4-1, to one, got eliminated at the Tribal Council vote as players jockey for positions and misplaced trust among their tribe mates. Then, in last week's Episode 6, a giant new twist was thrown in, with the remaining contestants being split into not two, but three different tribes, putting the bonds and trust developed to this point in total disarray. Navidi won another challenge, now their fifth, establishing the Maholo tribe as one of the worst tribes in the 36-year history of Survivor in winning challenges. And in the episode's ending Tribal Council, it was James voted out by a small margin. Incidentally, James gave a sincere parting message to the rest of the group, saying that it was an honor to have competed with them. The strategy of the producers to bring the personas of the contestants out seemed to work as now in smaller tribes, working closer with each other, each survivor is genuinely sad to see their teammates get eliminated. As far as player strategy, the survivors acknowledge that relationships are just as important as brute strength but James being voted out appeared to be due to both a lack of personal relationships built and a failure of his last challenge. It came as no surprise, as odds makers had James as a leaks likely to win the million dollars at odds of 60 to 1. It sure seems as if the eye candy factor is still strongly in play, as Michael Yerger, the 18-year-old super handsome LA real estate agent, seems to be solid. He is at odds of just 4-1 to one to win, while stunning blonde Libby Vincek is now at 12-1 to one odds to win and is starting to be flaunted more in her swimsuit. She is also part of the conversation as a tease, using her sexuality, but not sex, to build relationships. The third looker, model Chris Noble, is listed as a long shot at odds of 20-1, to one, as it looks like many of the players are getting sick of his ego. If you're not betting on this show, you're losing out on a lot of potential money, as several contestants, who were huge long shots at odds of 50 to 1 or more to be eliminated, have gotten the axe. So even a $10 bet could have netted you a cool 500 bucks or more. Nine of the 14 remaining contestants are still at double digit odds to win Survivor Ghost Island, so now is the time to make your bet. For those of you who have never bet on entertainment, there are two different ways to bet. You can bet on who will be the winner of a TV show or competition, and you can bet on the novelty prop bets with a yes or no result or an over under result for a particular prop bet. To place a bet on entertainment, start by clicking on the entertainment tab on the betdsi.eu website. There you will find a list of TV shows and entertainment novelty wagers with the contestants or teams to bet on or the particular proposition. Then click on your desired TV show, contest, or novelty prop bet to show the different betting options. If a contestant or team is listed at positive odds of, for example, plus 400, that means that they are an underdog, and you could win $400 by placing a $100 wager on that contestant or team. But if you have a contestant or team with a negative sign in front of their odds, for example, minus 400, that means that they are the favorite to win and you would have to bet $400 to win $100 on that competitor. The second way to bet on entertainment is to bet a particular circumstance or proposition known as a prop bet. Here you are going to take a position on a proposition. For example, will Donald Trump win a second term as president? You could choose yes or no from the options and each option has a price next to it. You may also see a bet as an over or under proposition, such as how many total viewers will a particular TV show have. Again, if the price is indicated with a plus sign, such as plus 200, that is the less likely result, and a $100 bet would give you a $200 prize if your proposition wins. But if the price is indicated with a negative sign, such as minus 200, that is the more likely result, and you would have to wager $200 to win $100. If the odds are even, then both results have approximately the same chance of winning. 
You use the same rules with plus and minus odds to calculate your possible prize for each and every proposition bet, team, or contested you would like to bet on. Click over now to betdsi.eu to check out all the entertainment betting odds on the board, along with a slew of fun and exciting novelty props on your favorite shows, celebrities, and even politicians. Take advantage of getting more than three times your money if you open an account today with a 200% deposit bonus and a $25 free bet. Join the action with a few fun wagers because it's only a game until you bet it.